Hello everyone, I'm back. And first of all, I want to thank all the people that subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for that and also the people that already subscribed. And I want to thank the people that uh, place such nice comments uh, under my videos and on social media. I, I appreciate it a lot. And uh, for the people that have questions, please place a comment or send me an email. At the end of this video, uh, you can see my email address and um, I'll get back to you then. So, to the painting. I'm using this time a canvas of 40 by 50 centimeters and it's, it's rather thick, it's 3 centimeters thick, so it's new for me because I never used uh, such a canvas and it's also uh, uh, experimenting for me too and a learning, learning curve because uh, I'm not doing uh, resin paintings for that long. So first a clear coat on my canvas. Uh, I've painted it uh, different kinds of blue and also a little bit of white because the colors I'm using are blue, purple and white. If you want to see uh, which colors then you need to look at the beginning of this video. I've listed them there. So I'm starting off with a very dark uh, blue of Lores, the sapphire blue. Very nice color. And how I place the, the colors on the canvas, I, I just go with what my feeling tells me. So, no particular order of, of colors. When I pick my colors, I uh, mostly uh, look at that I have a powder and a paste and an ink. Because they are all have different ways, weights. And um, that way you can create some cells, I think. So on top of the dark blue, uh, another color of uh, Lores, the turquoise. Also a very nice color, very sparkly. And why I paint the canvas is that when I um, have some um, um, clear spots or how do you say that, that the canvas shows through, that I have a color there. And also maybe to create some uh, 3D effects with it. It's all about experimenting for me. A nice purple, that's also an ink, it's a little bit transparent, so you can see the uh, color of the canvas through it. Some silver, very nice, the resi metal is this. I'm heating it. And at this moment it looks very busy. Tilting the canvas. Still looking very busy. This part I speed it up a little bit because you can't see what I'm doing at this moment. But I look at the composition and I tilt the, uh, the canvas that way that I like.
and at this moment I'm not satisfied with the composition. So I'm placing some darker colors on the canvas. This is the purple rain of uh, Lures. And trying to make it a little bit less busy. Silver again. And I'm heating it up again. Tilt in the canvas and so you can see it doesn't flow that easily over the canvas. So what I learned is that the clear coat I'm putting first on the canvas needs to be a little bit thicker. So I stopped tilting because otherwise it gets more busy and I don't like that. And I put more color on it. There are some parts of the painting that I like, for example the uh, right side of it with the purple and the silver. So I want to hold on, hold on to that, but there are some parts I don't like and I'm trying to fix that. Some white for the contrast. Heating it, heating it up again. Yeah, but we all know uh, resin isn't controllable 100%. So you have something in your head and you get something totally different. And then you need to make something of it. That's the way I think. Still not satisfied. So many colors on the underside of the painting. Some cells on the right side in the silver. It's nice. This looks already a little bit better. And also what I learned from this painting is that uh, the way you tilt the board um, 
that part you need to heat. Uh, not the whole painting. So the part you want to tilt it off, that part you heat with your heat gun. Now I'm placing some uh, details for the contrast. This painting is totally different than the ones I did before, but that doesn't matter. I like this also, nice colors. And if you see it in real life, then it's much, much uh, nicer. And you see that I don't do the sides, I like the dripping of the resin uh, along the sides, so I leave it this way. But that's, that's all, um, also why I paint the sides, because then I have a color there. Blending the silver in, a little bit of tilting, So I'm looking at the painting and I look where it needs a little bit more color. And uh, now I'm using uh, the very dark blue against the white to make a contrast. Heating it to blend it in. Looking at the sides, if they are covered little bit of green and now I'm uh, blending the green in and I uh, put heat over the whole canvas to get rid of all the air bubbles uh, this is almost the end result I'm very happy with it, it's very different, but I like it. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have questions or tips, uh, please send me an email or place a comment under the video. And uh, my email address is at the end of this video, so then you need to wait. And um, thank you all, and I will see you next time. Bye!